Hi. Welcome to Teradata tutorial of, Bridge to Success. In this video, we will learn primary index, its types and also on how the data is getting distributed. We will learn about the other indexes in the subsequent videos. You can view all the videos, related to Teradata in the playlist of the channel, or by clicking the link, mentioned in the description of this video. Data distribution is managed automatically by the Teradata database. Data is distributed automatically, based upon each table's specified primary index. Primary index is used to specify where the data resides in Teradata. It is used to specify which AMP gets the data row. Each table in Teradata is required to have a primary index defined. PI cannot be altered, have to drop and recreate the table. The three most important roles the primary index does are as following. Data distribution. The selection of the primary index column, directly determines the distribution of the table rows. Ideally, the rows should be distributed, as evenly as possible across the AMPs. If the distribution is poor, only a portion of Teradata's AMPs are processing data and impact the performance. Data Retrieval PI is the fastest way to retrieve data. As data is distributed according to the primary index, it will always be a 1 AMP operation. Join performance. PI can significantly impact the performance of the query joins. What is the difference between primary key and primary index? Value of primary key is unique where primary index can have non-unique values. Primary key is used as data identifier and PI for data distribution. PI can have null values, whereas primary key cannot. There are two types of primary indexes. Unique primary index and non-unique primary index. A unique primary index is unique and cannot have any duplicates. If you try to insert a row with a primary index value that is already in the table, the row will be rejected. A new PI enforces uniqueness for a column. A unique primary index will always spread the rows of the table evenly amongst the AMPs. UPI access is always a 1 AMP operation and hence the best type of primary index to select when creating a table. A non-unique primary index means that the values for the selected column can be non-unique. Duplicate values can exist. You might pick a NUPI over a new PI because the NUPI column may be more effective for query access and joins. Data distribution using primary index. When a user submits an SQL request against a table using a primary index, the request becomes a 1 AMP operation, which is the most direct and efficient way for the system to find a row. Let's see the process now. 
The primary index value goes into the hashing algorithm. The output of the hashing algorithm is the row hash value. The hash map points to the specific AMP where the row resides. The PE sends the request directly to the identified AMP. The AMP locates the row on its disk. The data is sent over the binet to the PE, and the PE sends the answer set onto the client application. It is possible for the hashing algorithm to end up with the same row hash value for two different rows. To differentiate each row in a table, every row is assigned a unique row ID. The row ID is the combination of the row hash value and a uniqueness value. Row ID equals row hash value plus uniqueness value. The uniqueness value is used to differentiate between rows whose primary index values generate identical row hash values. In most cases, only the row hash value portion of the row ID is needed to locate the row. When each row is inserted, the AMP adds the row ID, stored as a prefix of the row. The first row inserted with a particular row hash value is assigned a uniqueness value of 1. The uniqueness value is incremented by 1 for any additional rows inserted with the same row hash value. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and share the video. You can view more videos in the playlist of the channel, or click on the links mentioned in the description below the video name. Also, kindly subscribe the channel.